Now for a look at your Southern Colorado forecast, we check in with meteorologist Sam Schreier. You know, to be fair to her, that's about the safest place you can be, right? <laughs> sitting in go. the middle of the body, sitting it's in the middle true. of the ocean right there. So good for her, trying to make the best out of it, just like you said. Let's go to our area. Now we're gonna try to make the best out of our situation, which is cold. And even a five mile per hour wind. Take a look at that number. Five makes Colorado Springs feel like zero. And our actual temperature is still close to eight. Now we're eight in Pueblo. Pueblo, you pick up even like a four or five mile per hour wind. You're feeling probably below zero. Now out to the plains, single digit wind chills negative two in Springfield. Negative nine for Salida. That's the coldest spot on the map with that wind chill factor. And we're still just going to be cold. Now I'm working on the bus stop forecast. I need to change that around here. So stay with me through the morning. It is going to be frigid for the kids outside. The winds aren't as strong as we were afraid they could be this morning. I was afraid they'd be over 10 miles per hour. Now they might pick up towards like 8, 9 o'clock, but they'll be in school at that time. So get the kids bundled up just in case the wind picks up a bit here. 7.04 for the sunrise time, 4.37 for the sunset. Let's talk about what your forecast is today. So first of all, Colorado Springs, 8 for the current temperature. You will warm up but not overly warm into the low 30s for your high temperatures, kind of stalling out from noon to three o'clock. Pueblo, I have better confidence you'll hit about 40. Models think 41, very close, even coming off this cold day today. Now there's a little bit of snow possible, not for Springs, not for Pueblo. It looks like through this afternoon, we might get some super light snow up around some of the Rampart Range, the mountains, kind of like what we saw yesterday, but this is really more tonight where we might see a wave come on in, maybe give Monument. I went less than an inch in a half that would be kind of the maximum number but it's more likely it'll be under that with how dry the system is woodland park i went less than an inch and a half again likely under an inch but with how cold this air is it doesn't take much moisture to kick some good snowflakes out and less than an inch likely down south wouldn't surprise me if we get a little white road coverage by tomorrow morning in a few spots 